Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, the Zamfara state government has charged residents to prepare and obtain guns to protect themselves from terrorists. The government also directed the state commissioner of police to issue license to all those who qualify and are wishing to obtain such guns to defend themselves. This was announced in a press statement released on Sunday and signed by the Zamfara State Commissioner for Information, Ibrahim Magajidozara. This, the state government said, is due to the increase in the activities of bandits in various parts of the state and the government's commitment to ensuring adequate security and protection of lives and property of the citizenry in the state. Dozara said the Zamfara state government has already concluded arrangements to distribute 500 forms to each of the 19 emirates in the state for those willing to obtain guns to defend themselves. At number two, gunmen have killed another Catholic priest in charge of St. Michael's Catholic Church in Ikabibu, at Sako West local government area of Edo State, Reverend Father Christopher Odia. Reports say Odia was abducted from his residence by the armed men while he prepared for the Sunday Mass. A source said the kidnappers shot and injured one of the community boys searching for the Reverend Father. In a related development, suspected terrorists have killed a Kaduna state-based Catholic priest, Reverend Father Vitus Borogo. Father Borogo was murdered on Saturday at the prison farm Kujama along the Kaduna Kachia Road. The Chancellor of the Catholic Archdiocese of Kaduna, Reverend Father Christian Emmanuel, in a statement said the 50-year-old was the chaplain of the Catholic community in Kaduna State. At number three, the Speaker of the Sokoto State House of Assembly, Aminu Achida, and three governorship aspirants of the All Progressives Congress in the state have defected to the People's Democratic Party. The three governorship aspirants are former Minister of Sports, Yusuf Suleiman, Abu Bakar Gumbi, and a serving federal lawmaker, Balarabe Salame. The defectors were received by the Delta State Governor and PDP Vice Presidential Candidate, Ifai Okowa, on Sunday in Sokoto. Some of the personalities who also defected include another House of Reps member, Yusuf Kudula, a former Senator, Belu Gada, State Assemblyman Mutala Maigona, and serving National Commissioner in the Public Complaints Commission, Jibril Gada. At number four, about 22 people were found dead in a nightclub in South Africa on Monday morning. South Africa's Daily Dispatch reports that emergency services were called in the early hours of Sunday to the Enyo Beni Tavern in Scenery Park on the edge of East London, Eastern Cape Province, where they witnessed bodies lying bizarrely as if they collapsed to the floor suddenly while dancing or in the middle of a conversation, some seemingly in the social circles they were engaging with. Other bodies are slumped across chairs and lying over tables. Eastern Cape Police spokesperson Brigadier Tembin Kosi Kinana confirmed the incident. At number five, the defense headquarters says the troops of Operation Wellstroke have arrested four kidnappers, neutralized three bandits, and rescued a kidnapped victim in recent operations in parts of Benue State. The director of defense media operations, Bernard Onyoko, made this known in a statement on Sunday in Abuja. Onyoko said the troops arrested four suspected kidnappers at Igumale Council Ward of Ado local government area of the state on June 24th. He also said the troops conducted a raid at a bandit hideout at Mbahuwe village in Utange Council Ward in Kasinala local government area, where three terrorists were killed. That's all for now. Please do well to get your permanent voters card as the 2023 general elections is almost here. See you next time on What's Happening. <music>